All right, so new labyrinth is here, and this one isn't too bad. I let me show the shop here. So obviously, you know, you gotta clear out the top so you can buy the bottom here. You can buy up to 50 LR coins in the shop this time. There's no new outfit, unfortunately, but lots of LR coins to compensate, I guess. Uh, this time, it doesn't seem like the grind is too bad. I'm pretty sure I've only done two runs at this like end portion here and I was able to buy pretty much all the LR coins so it's not the end of the world and as you can see my team is garbage but it was still able to easily beat the whole thing and uh, let me show you from the beginning but in this end portion here this is where you're going to be grinding the currency from the shop we've had times where this ending part was not worth it but I think this time it is grinding just the bosses and like repeating from the beginning is just too time consuming and honestly these fights are easier than the fights behind like the fights from the second floor are harder than these fights right here i think so um and you can just every single store you can just buy more stats and that's where you should always be focusing on with with these labyrinth friends so when you start you're gonna have a bunch of random garbage Luckily, I just got Red Galfer, so these are the characters from my previous run, right? They're not very good either, but it's what I ended up with. Uh, any character, I think, like from the first year of the game, like 2019, can show up here. And they're all terrible, but some of the best options are definitely going to be like Red Galfer, uh, SR Lizhawk, and that's pretty much it. I don't recommend King. Eventually, in the second floor, characters that debuff cannot do any more debuffing, so they become pretty useless, and that really screws up majority of these bad characters that just rely on these debuffs. So you want to be avoiding those as much as possible. Pathwise, I mean, you can make choices, but really, you just want to go for as many passes as possible, right? Just like every time, and... When I get here, I'll show, but honestly, moving forward, every Labyrinth, your biggest goal will be getting to the shops and buying stats. It comes to a point where you have so much extra stats, your characters being bad doesn't really matter. And I guess that's good, but it makes your first run really bad, really, really long and annoying. For what I can tell with passives, there's no like extremely amazing passive you need to be like really watching out for there is no <laughs> uh there, there, there's nothing like 75 percent hp to x race character right there's nothing like that seemingly at the very least i have not seen any of that and whatever you can get that just gives you stats is the best and <laughs> you will probably get a bunch of bad passives. At least that's my experience so far. Bunch of passives that are just like, okay, 7% attack, that's fine. And then 7% attack for each female character. I hope you get a bunch of females. Some of the best passives I've seen are these, where they reduce enemy crit defense and crit resistance by 10% per, you know, player. But unfortunately, one of the best passives I usually see in these Labyrinth runs is reduces enemy attack based on uh, how many characters you have but i'm still to see those if you do see them pick them up because some of these enemies hit you really hard yeah in this first pick here on this map i'll just like check if there's anything good in here do not pick any debuffers it's worthless uh, you might think oh slater you can just see it no don't pick it it's worthless it's completely worthless uh i would just skip like this the end would be a good unit if you could actually use the attack seal from her, but she uh, is not because she <laughs> she's just gonna do nothing in the second floor. And the second floor is the hardest part. I still didn't get anything great. Okay, now I have. Now you might be asking why I picked Esterosa out of the characters I had options for, because I actually had. Decent options, I had Green Galfer and Margaret from the characters I had, but I'll explain a bit. Shop. Every time you get to a shop, buy stats. It doesn't matter. It's It, it doesn't matter if it's defense, HP. 
I think in the first floor, you can only get defense, by the way. I've never seen it being anything else, but maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Attack is obviously gonna, gonna always be best, but defense and HP is also very, very good. I would buy stats over units or passives. They don't sell passives here, but over like stars or whatever. Always, always, always buying, I buy these stars. Stats will be the best in the long run for sure. All right, I'm in second floor and this is where stuff starts getting real. The enemies cannot be debuffed anymore. And I believe in floor three they can, but I can confirm. So I'm gonna use a debuff card just to show. So any character that's like, their main focus is debuffing becomes so useless. And right now, I'm hitting super hard right now because I have so much stats. But believe me, in my first run, this enemy was so incredibly hard. Like th these enemies in the second floor, are very difficult. They are way too over leveled compared to you. So you're gonna find uh, a lot more challenging than I just, you know, make it, make it sound like or, or seem like. Because, you know, I have all the stats. I have, uh, I came in already with Estorosa and stuff like that. Like right here, this is uh, the following enemy pretty much. And I mean, it doesn't look like he's gonna be doing much to me, but. That attack right there hits super hard. So, you, any character that is dead weight on your team, like all, you know, Blue Skinny King, right? He can't patrify. So, he becomes dead weight. It, it, it's too much of a liability, I'll, I'll be honest. So, I'll, I'll focus on characters that have other traits and not debuffing. Alright, so Estorosa, right? Why did I bring Estorosa instead of Margaret and Galfer? Simply put, enemies have damage cap and counters bypass damage cap. So if you get a counter character, I would recommend picking it. But it's not necessary, just pretty good. The thing is, he was my best option. As you can see, like all these characters suck. All these characters suck. And that's my experience with this labyrinth. I am yet to get a good festival, like an actual good festival, like an Arthur or a Demon King Meliodas. Attack, always wanna buy. I guess I, I could have got it from here, but I've tried it before and I didn't get anything, so. Yeah, unless you, uh, <laughs> you're you getting very lucky with characters and I'm just getting super unlucky, uh, this, is, this, this is the best stuff I'm getting, all right? It's Green Astarosa. But he's actually pretty good. The damage cap bypassing of counters is very good. Second boss is these two. The main gimmick to worry about here is that they don't instantly, you know, die once you kill them. Uh, but they actually, I believe, let me, let me actually test this. I'm gonna rank up Asterosa, but I believe they can be attack sealed. And debuffed. Uh, one of them can. Okay, the blue one. But the, the main boss cannot, so... If you do bring again, I would not recommend bringing debuffers anyways, but... Uh, the main thing is, once they die, they actually have, like, the... The one ultimate sort of countdown of hits before they actually fall off and... Uh, and they're dead. So, you know, watch out for that. But in general, this isn't the hardest boss ever. I don't think that this labyrinth is particularly very difficult, especially considering the quality of characters I've been bringing. You know, not by my choice, but those, they haven't been the best, and I'm still making do with what I have, right? Yeah, so you see the, the counters, the, the count right there, and I'm just gonna attack them three times, and it's over. I mean, none of the bosses are hard. The first boss is even a boss, I even skipped it. It's just enemies, so... In this first character pick of Floor 3, I am yet to see any amazing characters, but I'm gonna refresh here to see if I could. Yeah, I don't recommend, like, trying to get, like, a super amazing character from here. Did I actually get, like, a decent back in Uh, not really. I wouldn't try, like... 
you know, wasting all of your points trying to uh, get a good character here because, you know, in the three runs I've done so far, none of the runs I've got <laughs> a good character from that first character pick from stage three, which is very unfortunate because usually floor three, you're showered with actual good units, but not this time, at least in my experience. Again, every shop, buy more stats. I would say in floor three is worth checking, even in floor two what characters they have available before buying the stats if you don't have enough money for both but like I, I i don't know if i'm just super unlucky with this particular labyrinth but i'm still to see a good character in any of these shops so i i don't know okay uh first time i ever see this this is the pass i was talking about for each ally attack lowers the enemy i do recommend taking these it's not going to make it faster, but especially in your first run, the enemies can be very challenging. So it is actually a pretty good one to pick. Stats, 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 always stats, always worth it. And this is the last character pick. We have, uh, we have options. Tier would be great if I could debuff all enemies, but usually the bosses can't in any of those uh, post matches oh green Sa is green sario better than asterosa probably right mm. probably i'm i'm swapping i'm swapping okay <laughs> it's uh very See, now there's some good characters, but like, they don't, they're not good for, like, Bon, you can't debuff them really that much, so it's like, I guess Green DN would have been good. It's no Melee. I, I seen someone with, uh, with Melee and some other, like, really good characters, I just, <laughs> for me, <laughs> this is what I'm ending with. Green Liz Hawk in the back. My best character is Green Sario. It's uh, not ideal. Final boss isn't anything too crazy. It's just Elaine. She has like a AOE ult gauge removal. So if you're like planning on ult rushing, I guess it's not the greatest thing ever for you. Uh, but not a particularly hard boss to beat. And once you're done, if you don't have a good team, I would say restarting with your best character, it's probably going to be worth it. Because the fights ahead are where you're going to be actually farming. And if you can't like do it fast enough, it's not, not ideal. Okay. Yeah, Green Saurio is definitely better than Asterosa because the counter lasts two turns as well on level two. I wish we had kept the Green Galfer. If I knew I was going to get Saurio at the end, I would have uh, kept the Green Galfer because then I would be getting attack related stats, but whatever. This is definitely my last run ever on this Labyrinth anyways. So it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, her, her, her ult stuns. I mean, th in that way is she doesn't does she buff remove i can't read right now because it's in japanese i don't recall if that ult removes buffs and stuns if it if it does then esterosa is also uh, not able to do much about that but it doesn't matter you're probably going to end up with better characters than me i i think i just <laughs> i just got extremely unlucky now i gotta save the team i will be saving it so, before we go into the next part, I want to show, so now I have 1,000, and that's for a full run, and this run took like 20 minutes, something like that. It took a bit longer because I, I was thinking, uh, I did it, I took a break in the middle of it, but uh, 20 minutes for a thousand or whatever, here you're going to get much faster. So I do recommend having a team built for this, and here's where, you know, I will say getting a counter character is very worth it. I think because of the damage caps that every single every single fight in this floor, additional floor or fourth floor, 
the middle enemy or like the main enemy has damage cap. All of them. As far as I know. I I I have done it, but you know, it's like I, I have the, the stats there. I'm pretty sure they do. So that's why I like it. But if you have characters that are strong Okay, Guffer. Okay. If you have characters that are strong enough that you don't even need to worry about damage cap because you can just do like enough attacks, that's cool. But at least this this one I know. And maybe the other ones probably do. The damage caps are like 30%. So you can't even one turn them. But that, I'm pretty sure 46k is a damage cap. Yep. His damage so I did three damage caps right there. And he didn't die. Because it's 30%. Very annoying, but counter is bypassive. So you just keep on going. These random things usually are fights, by the way. Uh, there are two shops in both of them. You can buy, like, levels, stats. You can't buy new characters. You, ne you never can buy new characters. But I'll recommend, you know, if you're going to be grinding this, like, two or three times, because that's probably enough to uh, actually just buy the whole shop and then you're done. Uh, in these shops, every time, buy stats. I'm going to do just one more fight. And, you know, all the fights ahead are, like, the same thing, pretty much. So there's not much to see here. They don't, they don't just all fight these, like, random guards, but all the fights are pretty much the same. All of these. So it, it's kind of, in a way, it's more boring to farm than the regular, just doing the stages, but it's more effective. So, and I'm pretty sure that in this first one, like, they don't, the damage cap enemy doesn't attack you because they don't want you to, like, just insta kill him with counters because, um, in every single time I've played, only the side characters attack first, but in the other fights, I'm pretty sure the damage cap character still attacks in the first turn. Alright, good luck farming. This isn't the hardest labyrinth to farm, I found. Like, I, I don't know if it was the latest one, like the one before this one or something. We've had labyrinths that took absolutely for ever to farm. This is definitely not that bad. You just gotta get stats. That, that's it. Just, just get stats. That, that's the video. Get stats.